Diffusion and osmosis are almost similar, but they are not actually the same thing. Let's understand how they are different. For that, let me draw two figures. One in diffusion side and another one in osmosis side. We will uh, study them side by side so that it will be easier for us to differentiate between them. Let us consider they are separated by some barrier. In case of diffusion, let's consider this is permeable membrane, permeable membrane, and this is non -per sorry semi permeable membrane, semi permeable membrane. Here it can be permeable or non permeable. Sorry, semi permeable doesn't matter. Okay, here it could be semi permeable membrane as well, and in both the sides. There is the same liquid but at different concentrations okay this is the same liquid but the concentration of those liquids are different this is the first solution this is the first solution and this is the second solution here also this is the first solution and this is the second solution suppose in first solution the amount of solute is more than that in the second solution okay i'm considering the same type of example till now okay so you can easily say this is the concentrated solution and this one is the dilute solution this is the concentrated solution this one is the dilute solution over here now in case of diffusion that is if there is permeable membrane then what will happen the solute will travel will flow from the region of uh, higher concentration to the region of lower concentration or simply we can say that the solute will flow from concentrated solution to the dilute solution because if we see the concentration that is the amount of solute that is more in con concentrated solution then it will flow from this side to this side so solute will flow from left to right now this is a bilateral process at the same time the solvent molecules the solvent molecules will also flow, flow from right to left keeping the concentration uh, sorry keeping the volume of both the liquids same both the solutions same now this will process will keep happening till the concentration of both the solutions become same so there will be a point when the concentration of first solution will be equal to the concentration of the second solution this process will keep on happening till this situation so what can we say the flow of solute from higher concentrated region to lower concentrated region through the semi permeable membrane or permeable membrane is called diffusion okay here solute particles will flow but in case of osmosis they are separated by a semi permeable membrane and look at here in this case the solute particles will not be able to flow from concentrated solution to the dilute solution because this is semi permeable membrane and this will block the solute particles but the solvent molecules will be able to flow from dilute to concentrated here solvent molecules will be able to flow from dilute to concentrated because the concentration of the solvent is more in dilute because the amount of solvent molecules is more in dilute than that in concentrated concentrated so obviously solvent will pass but solute will not pass in diffusion solute also passes but in uh, osmosis only the solvent passes and as a result of that the volume of concentrated part this part increases right so this is osmosis and in this case the concentration of the solute uh, might be different doesn't matter it it, uh, it won't be equal at any time okay so this is what osmosis actually is now i hope you understood about the difference of diffusion and osmosis but in examination the difference of osmosis and diffusion is frequently asked so let me write the difference of di uh, diffusion and osmosis so that it will be easier for us to understand that so now as we know about diffusion and osmosis we must be able to write the difference between them because in examination difference is asked frequently so i have made a chart over here and in the left side i have written three points of diffusion and three points of uh, osmosis they are different from each other so in the first point i have written the difference between them that is 
the movement of solute particles from higher concentrated solution to lower concentrated solution to bring a uniform concentration throughout the solution is called diffusion that's what we read in diffusion the solute particles will flow from higher concentrated solution to the lower concentrated solution till the concentration of both the liquid or both the solution becomes same and in the right side the definition of osmosis is the spontaneous flow of solvent molecules from pure solvent into solution pure solvent means there won't be any solute particle but in solution there will be some amount of solute particles right or from dilute solution to concentrated solution through semi permeable membrane is called osmosis that is the definition of osmosis similarly the second difference is there is flow of both solute and solvent this is very important difference okay you must remember that and in osmosis there is flow of solvent only so we understood that in a uh, diff diff diffusion is a bilateral process that means solute as well as solvent will flow from one side to another side but in case of osmosis only solvent will flow but solute does not flow at all similarly the third and the final difference is semi permeable membrane is not required so in this case semi permeable membrane is not required if there is semi permeable membrane then also it is fine otherwise also it is fine but in osmosis semi permeable membrane is a must without semi permeable membrane osmosis cannot happen now i forgot to tell you about one thing there is osmotic pressure as well now see the pressure the minimum amount of pressure that is required to stop from osmosis to happen is called osmotic pressure about which we will uh, study in my further videos as well so this is the difference between diffusion and osmosis you can take the screenshot of this okay so i have to take took the screenshot already so that's all in this video i have you understood everything about this video 